Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Mercedes, and I am a single mom of one beautiful little girl, and I also happen to be a kindergarten teacher. So, I am working my way to a little financial freedom for both myself and my little girl. And if you're ready to come along on this journey with me, please make sure that you hit that like button, leave me a comment, and of course, smash that subscribe button so you can come along on my journey. All right, so guys, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, we will be doing our normal weekly check-in and our weekly meal planning. So before we do any of that, let's go ahead and Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> Not before we do any of that. Let's go ahead and get started with our check-in. So, all right. All right. So I know some people have been um like wanting to buy this budget planner, which I still highly recommend. I will say I am noticing that the letters on the stickers for like the months have definitely started to like rub off and it's sad that like I only I don't think I've put like any extra wear and tear on it so I'm sad that they're wearing off but I still overall still 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 love this um planner definitely will recommend it um but yeah I just want to make sure I'm being transparent with you guys. If I'm going to be recommending anything to you guys, I want to be as transparent as I possibly can be. I do love this planner. I use it every week, as you guys see. But these are definitely starting to rub off, and it's it sucks that that's happening. And it's happening so soon. I feel like I haven't been using it for that long that it's already rubbing off. But okay. Here we go. We've made it to our weekly check-in, so... Let's look and see how our meal plan goes. So for this meal plan, we have to remember, I didn't budget anything but $5 because I, the week before this one, I forgot to do a meal plan. <laughs> and all of these meals were on that meal plan, on that meal plan that I forgot to do. And so I already had all of these ingredients and so i didn't technically spend the money from this pay check or from this pay like period on these groceries so that's why they're all zeros just want to give you that reminder okay so like i said i already had all of these things uh oh my leg didn't want to come out i already had all these things so i didn't have to buy anything for them so just like i said all of these are going to be zero all right now for sandwich and chips i needed to buy chips and i needed to buy bread and i bought those things i spent more than five dollars because i bought three random bags of chips usually i buy like the box or i just get like a family size bag of chips and it's just one but guys, I literally bought the regular small size bag of chips. You know, the ones that used to be a dollar. And they're now like $2.40 something each, which was ridiculous. Um, I bought three bags of those randomly. Like I bought one at Walmart and it was like a bag of hot Cheetos. And I was like, okay, cool. I love hot Cheetos. It will go perfectly with the sandwich. I already had like barbecue chips at home for my daughter. So she could have barbecue chips. So she, she's not eating you no know, hot Cheetos. And then we went to Fred, we, right after we bought the um, hot Cheetos at Walmart, I went to Fred Meyers and Fred Meyers had a sale going on their chips where you can get two bags for $4. So I was like, okay, it's a little cheaper than Walmart, which really wish I already knew you had a sale going on. So I definitely would have just got it at, at freaking Fred Meyers. So I went ahead and grabbed two more bags of chips and they were still the dollar bag of chips. They were not the big family size. And then I got home and I realized what I had done and I was like, what were you thinking? Why did you do that? Like, it makes no sense. Just get the family size bag, guys. Like, family or party size. Like, in the end, you're saving yourself more money because you're not having to buy multiple bags of chips. 
and like it's ridiculous and first of all those bags have not gotten any bigger and they i feel like they put less chips in them so why are they more expensive like can someone explain that to me it makes no sense like those bags should not be almost three freaking dollars the family size bags of chips are usually just like three ninety something or four dollars so why are the small little bags of chips almost three dollars make it make sense sorry like ugh, i just hate how prices are raised and it's just ridiculous so yeah i spent nine twelve so i went about four dollars and twelve cent over my um schedule budget but you will see that because i did have most of these meals already planned out i did not overspend so i'm definitely still within my overall 66 dollar grocery budget and you guys will see that in a second when we do my cat my wallet on stuffing my wallet on stuffing we're gonna need to also um look at some transactions that i made that i have to pull the money from and we're gonna pretty much use that money to help me break down like some leftover money because yeah all right so i'm gonna have to pull money out of my um out of my binders and guys i got i've added two new binders that you guys will see in the new year which i'm so 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 excited about and i think i'm gonna be adding one or two more based on what i think my friends might have gotten me for christmas so i'm so excited i uh, i told you guys i think in the last video that i'm gonna be starting some um saving challenges and like games saving challenge games and stuff and i'm super excited about it because they're some of my favorite videos to watch and i have several lined up for you they're all like very low income like 50 to 100 dollars just because i want to be realistic with what i can um save although i do have a couple that are going to be long term so there will be more than that could be worth more than that and they will run for however long it takes me to finish them i'm not going to be overwhelmed with throwing a bunch of cash at saving challenges it might be like a hundred dollars here and there um just to like make sure i'm doing those saving challenges but my first priority like i always say is going to be paying off my debt in the new year so all of my consumer debt i'm trying to get it paid off so um i would definitely be pull, putting aside a hundred or two hundred dollars or something to put into my saving challenges but majority of my money would definitely be going to my debt also guys i've been working on so many new things i'm currently working on creating my own saving challenge like a like big saving challenge that is based off of my favorite board game <laughs> clue so it is definitely it's a murder mystery saving challenge that i will be sharing with you probably in my first um savings not even probably definitely in my first saving challenge video in january i'm so excited about it guys like i'm like designing it and like making all the um like designing it and just putting everything together coming up with the story for it and everything and i am so excited i am someone who loves loves love a good mur murder mystery hence why clue is one of my favorite games also when i was in college like me and my best friend who's also my roommate <laughs> right now we were RAs and we would have to put on like programs for like the students at the school and every year we did a murder mystery that was such a big hit like we we would literally come up with a backstory we would sign some people characters like we would come up with clues and things and hide them everywhere like obviously the saving challenges won't have all of that involved but like i am just someone who loves a good murder mystery and i feel like there are so many other people out there who loves a good murder mystery and i just couldn't really find like and I looked, I searched, I could not find really any really good murder mystery saving challenges. I, I saw one, but, and it looked like it would be cool. So it might be one that I, I like invest in in October just to have another one that I didn't create. Because, you know, I am, I'm creating it. So I, I kind of already have a cheat sheet and I already know realistically who the killer thing is going to be. Although I think I'm going to make like, 
five different versions, three or four, maybe four or five, I don't know, different versions of like the same thing with different killers and like weapons and locations and stuff. That way it like just go ahead and cover them up with like the scratch off stickers. And that way I can have my best friend choose one randomly. And that way I can play along and not really know and not know which one it is and who the killer is. So I can be genuinely like involved in it. So yeah, that is something that I'm working on and I'm so excited to show you guys. And I don't know, it, I also, after I get it finished and I play it first, I definitely want to try to send it out to some people and have them try it because it's something that I would definitely be interested in like putting on an Etsy shop maybe you know or something like that or like selling it a little maybe and just you know i want to see what some other youtubers outside of me think about it like give me some critic uh, critiques on it and how how i can make it better you know so but yeah that along with a bunch of other things that i've been like working on and doing ugh, i'm so excited about i'm just I can't wait to tell you guys like what my plan is for the um for the new year it's gonna be so exciting for me but okay let's go ahead and get into this while i'm stuffing okay so for gas i budgeted for 50 dollars and i spent 46.34 which we wind up to 47 dollars so that's gonna mean i have three dollars remaining I have no change, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for now. Um, for groceries, I have, I spent, let's see, 36 and 4 plus 20 and 8. So I spent 56.92. So that's 57. So. I have 66 minus 57. So that means I should have $9 left in here. So let's check. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep. And of course, as always, this money will roll over. Um, let's see. All right. As you guys know, I have already spent my dining out budget for the month. Ugh. So I've, I did not dine out at all this week. Yay me, good job Mercedes. And so that money is gone. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm not, I didn't have a plan for this money before I pull it. Okay, it doesn't look like I did, okay. So for shopping, oh, huh. I love that I put 15 there, but I definitely do not have 15. And I have nine there, and that needs to be blanked out. Okay, um, for shopping, I budgeted it 15, and I have 15 left. So, I'm going to spend zero. Okay. Let's go look at my wallet. So, I did not budget anything, so let's see how much did I have left over at the last time. Okay, it looks like I had $38 left over. So now I have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. I still have 38 left, which means I spent nothing. Uh, my wallet one keeps coming up hard this one envelope and I keep laminating it hoping that it'll stick together but it doesn't seem to be working and it's making it makes me really sad just kind of these little wallets envelopes all right for this one she had 20 nope 32 left and I don't believe I've spent any from her wallet either at least not. Actually, nope. We're going to have to pause on that because I'm about to spend some money for a while. So, let's see. 10, 15, 
20. One, two, three, 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 four. That's twenty-four dollars that will be rolling over into our um into our fun, our one of the five challenge, and that ten will be going into I think our emergency um fun challenge. So, like I said, I do have um some things that I need to unstuff um to help that I gotta pay for. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my binder. So we're gonna start with Christmas. So that's, oh, I'm sorry, I grabbed myself. So I was shipping my niece something, like some Bath and Body Works sprays. I have a Bath and Body Works spray edition, or at least I had, and I have so many sprays. And like my niece just really wanted some sprays for Christmas. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll pull a couple out of my like stash and I'll send it to her and I like took it to UPS and the lady was like yeah for some reason $33 is the only thing that's pulling up and I was like you know what that's fine whatever and then I got in my car and I was like what the hell did you just do you spent $33 to ship three bottles of bath and body work spray I literally could have bought her brand new sprays off of bath and body works and had it mailed to her for cheaper. And like it didn't hit me until after I walked out of the store that I had just done that stupid. I was just like, oh my God, Mercedes, are you kidding me? I literally spent $33.33 to ship three bottles of Bath and Body Works spray. Guys, when I say the anger that I felt in that moment, I was like, what the hell and also it was like a small box why why would it cost 33 dollars? it makes no sense like the prices they are giving are ridiculous they are ripping people off like oh my god but yeah that's what that 33 dollars is for for ups i'm so angry but okay let me total up all of my christmas things so we can pull it from the freaking thing 33 plus 28 96 okay so this 28 96 was from last month that i forgot to pull for and so like the total for that has just been sitting in my account and i've been, I've been trying to figure out what this charge is for and i was like i did not spend this money what is it for and i look back and i realized oh you didn't spend um pull the money for it so that's what i'm pulling that for now okay so those are the only two things I pull, I got from Christmas this time, and it adds up to sixty-two um, twenty-nine. So of course we're gonna round it up to sixty-three. So we go 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. It's one sixty-two sixty-three. So that leaves us with five six dollar stuff in Christmas. I'm still, guys, uh, just thinking about the fact that I gave UPS $33. Just, it infuriates me, guys. It infuriates me that I was like that. That's, I don't want to say stupid, but I feel like I just had a dumb moment where I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then I was like, what the fuck did I do? Why would you say that's fine? It is 100% not fine that you just spent $33 on that. Like, you you know better than that. And, like, I do know better than that, but I don't know. I, I don't even remember if any of these other ones are actually in this box. I think it is. Okay, I think the next one that I have to pull from will be my, in this binder, is my car. Okay. So guys, you know I started my car registration envelope this month. <sighs> guys, okay, in my mind, my, oh my God, I did not realize you guys. <laughs> like, okay, I am a mess right now. I'm sorry. All right, so in my mind, I did not think that my car registration was due until March. 
because like I was talking to my mom about it and in Georgia where she lives, she's like, yeah, it renews on our birthday every month, like in our birthday month every month. And like, so we are, I always know when it's coming. So I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, oh, maybe that's a coming thing and that's what they do in Washington. Cause for some reason I just could not remember when my registration was due. And so I was like, okay, last month I was like, I have time to build this up if it's going to be renewing in March. So I could put $30 in it for December, January, and February, and then I'll be able to pay for it in February when it like, when it's coming up in March. So I can go ahead and take care of it and make sure I have it by the time March come around. And over like over the, this week, I got the paper being like, time for your registration. I was like, wow, they sent it out very early. Guys, my freaking thing is due like the almost the first week of freaking January. Excuse me? I was like, okay, that's, that's not great. And it was literally $80.60. I have, I think, $30 in my card with discretion. Like, I'm like, okay, um, not the preferred thing, but also I can't wait to order it because I need it within the first week of freaking January. And this is going to be the holiday time. They are not going to be in any rush to ship anything out and get it to me on time. And I cannot be pulled over by the police. I am not that person who can handle that type of thing happening. So I was like, I'm going to have to just BS this and pull this money out of somewhere else and just bite the, bite the bullet of that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take my money from my car registration and the rest of it, I'm just going to pull from car maintenance because right now in my car maintenance, I just got my oil change, so I do not need an oil change anytime soon. So I have enough time to build that back up before my next oil, oil, um, oil change. And I'm praying that I don't have any other car maintenance. If I do, I obviously have an emergency fund. That's what it's there for. It will suck to like try to I have to like break that down or anything, but it is what it is, and I have to do what I have to do. So. That's what's happening. That's why I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe I was so far off on when this thing was due. So far off. I was dead set. I was like, I got into March. I'm going to have this done. So when it's time, I have the money for it. No, I didn't. Oh, nope. <laughs> I'm just a hot mess. So here we go. So yeah, I said I'm going to pull it from car registration and car maintenance. So I got 30, like I thought, in car registration which means I need 51 from car maintenance. So 20, 40, 50. You know what, I'm gonna bite the bullet and just use that extra dollar for my buffer. It'll be okay, because I don't wanna break that 10. So car maintenance will keep $10 and car registration will go down to nothing, so. Let's make sure we got enough. Everything we need for that eighty dollars. So twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty. I like that though. That's very pretty. like two more envelopes that will be starting this is for insurance because this is my health insurance wait what does that say insurance no i literally can't even remember what that was for guys it is for my health insurance but i don't remember why it's in this binder i think it might be in the wrong binder but i can't remember i don't know we'll see <laughs> i'm gonna have to look back at what like what i was planning to figure out why I put it in this binder because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be somewhere else. That's okay. Okay. So let's go here. So in this one I'm gonna be pulling from uh, let's start it. Oh no wrong one. 
I'm not pulling anything for my emergency fund. Grab the wrong banner, sorry. So, I'm gonna go classroom first. So we did our cookie decorating for the gingerbread and that my um, co-teacher bought. And so I already paid her back uh, online. Like I just Venmo her the money that it was costing. It was gonna cost 25. So we're gonna take this 20 and 10, so 30. And I'm gonna just pull a five out of here. Get it back. So left over in classroom, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm definitely gonna have to build that back up by the end of the year. I always give my kids an end of the year gift. And it would definitely be coming out of this one this year. All right, so that's my classroom paid off. Toiletries, I don't believe I have anything for toiletries. My favorite hobbies. You know what, I'll be back to that in a second. Here. Here. Oh yeah, I added me a hair one. Of care, I don't need. There's where's my all things budget? Here it is. All right, I need my all things budget one. So I have how much in here? All right, for all things budget, I have 15. So I have two things I need to pull out of this, and it's not gonna be 15. So let's see. $8.99 for. I bought something on, on Etsy. What it was, don't ask me. Probably a savings challenge. <laughs> but I did. I bought that. And then we're going to pull three things. What the world, Mercedes? And that's 470 something on Amazon for all things budget. Don't know what it was. Then 1310. All right, so that's $26.79. Okay. $26.79, guys. So basically $27. Right. So this $15, yeah, that's gone. And then I'm going to go back up to my favorite hobbies. And because I split this one between audience budget and my favorite hobbies right there. So let's say I took out $15 there. So I need to take $11.79. So $12 out of this one. So I'm going to take eight back get five six seven eight which is not great because i need those ones okay <laughs> so my favorite hobby that's five six seven eight dollars yeah. so all of those are paid off so nice Personal. I mean, I would feel like I would have a personal, right? I'm pretty sure I had a personal freaking. This guy's from toiletries. That's what it is. Toiletries. So it's my personal. So I did have something in toiletries. I needed, I had to buy. Something at the dentist for eleven dollars. And I only have ten of my toiletries, which actually I need to add something else right now. That I'm thinking about I just went to the freaking pharmacy today to pick up a prescription. And it was a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna have to pull that from my wallet because it was twenty dollars which hurt my feelings because I probably had to put it on the credit card because I did that cash. So I got 10 from this one which means I need to pull twenty one dollars from my wallet so I'm gonna stick this to the side. 
So that number's about to change. I honestly forgot about it. Let's go, Mercedes. Here we go. So that's 20 and 1. So that's $31. Matted mats, and I did create a envelope for medicine because, like, I gotta do better. I have to have these plans, so I'm not just having to come out of all the envelopes to pay for these things. So, 10, 15, 16, 17 dollars. I was, I just wasn't expecting to have to buy, like, it was like mouthwash and freaking um toothpaste. Medicated my horse into his place from the dentist. So I was like, fuck. Yeah, I wasn't like expecting to have to, you know, pay for those things. And now all of a sudden I did. And it left me in a little bit of a. So that sucked. But, you know, it's okay. I got it paid. And that's what matters. So I got the things that I need. That's what matters. Okay. And then. Okay, let me make sure I got everything. Pay, 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 pay. Okay, the last thing I need to do is I bought Gigi some more clothes. <laughs> Every time I say that, I bought my daughter Gigi some more clothes. I know I said I was going to stop doing that, but I didn't. And. I'm not ashamed of it because there was a sale going on at Carter's and I love Carter's clothes for her and they had like a buy one get two free sale going on and there was no way I was going to take advantage of that so I got her guys I got her two full set outfits I got her a freaking no a onesie that was specific for my mom. She always wants her to have something that says Nana on it because the grandkids call my mom Nana. And Gigi outgrew her last Nana like shirt that she had. So I saw that one and I was like, okay, I have to get this for my mom so she will stop bugging me about it. And then also I, I, I bought her a bathing suit for like the summertime because bathing suits is better to buy bathing suits now in the winter than it is later in the summer because they get expensive for zero reasons so i bought her bathing suit too and it for all of those things guys i only paid 45.93 yeah there was no way i was passing up that sale but of course Gigi's coding fund only has seven dollars <laughs> so we're gonna have to do some pulling to so we're going to run in to get this covered. So that's it. It's 45.93. So I round it up to 46 minus 7. So I still need $39. I guess I'm going to come here. And I'm going to do something that I usually would not do. I'm going to just pull this money scrape from the miscellaneous. Pull my $20 miscellaneous fund. And so that brings us to 10, 20, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. All right, so that was $20. So I need 19 more dollars. And that's going to come from her own wallet. So that's 20. I need to pull one of those ones, please. Okay. So she has 10, 11, 12, 13 left. Whew. Okay. And that should be the entire $46. So 20, 30, 40, 35, 40, 45, $46. Put my wallet to the side real quick. And let's see. Money that I've spent. 
I have this month. Let's go ahead and calculate this. Uh oh, I'm supposed to do my penis style. Oh no. Yeah, guys, my daughter lost the top of my pen. And then I have a I bought a baggie of like the lids for these because she I did notice she liked to play with it. And somehow I lost the baggie of freaking lids. So yeah, my pen has just been like this lately and it's annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and count how much money I spent this this week. Here we go. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and then 172. $272. Wow, my sadies. That hurts my feelings. Okay, so I've spent $272. It is going back to the bank, and I will put that to the side for now. And it will go back in, it will go in my wallet later. Okay, so that's all for this. Oh, actually, that's not true. I still got to pull my gas money. Let me go ahead and move that out of the way. So we can focus back on. So, I'm going to erase this. I'm going to go back and do a, a new check-in for those wallets, too. Let's go to mine first. So, I had $38. I had $38, and now I'm down to 10 15 16 17 that hurt my feelings. It hurts my feelings. So I lost twenty one dollars. I need some more. That sucks. That sucked a lot. I'm just like, am I gonna have money in this to roll over into my savings this time? Because I had it. I, we, me and Gigi both had like money left over at the end of last month to roll over into savings. So now I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like we're gonna make it. <laughs> right, let's see. Especially since I still gotta go get you some tennis, some new shoes. Mm -hmm. So definitely more money is about to be spent, okay? Let's see. Gigi has 30, had $32. She's had 10, 11, 12, $13. So what is that? That's $19. I just bought it. I should have that, Lord. Minus 19 and she has $13. Then I had 20 in my miscellaneous. That's now gone. And giving had five. I didn't give away any, so it still has five. Switch it back to gas. Pull it up. Okay. So I'm gonna add my fifty, and I need three dollars back. So one, two. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, we have two. How many ones do I have over here? What to be four? One, two, three. You know what I can do? You know what I can do? I can add a one, five, six. I can, no, no, what I can do? I can keep these two and say I have, with my other one that I'm missing, that will make it five. So I can do that and just take a five instead, right? Yeah, I can do that. It would still be the same. It should still be the same. It should still be the same. Good. <laughs> Yes, that's how math works. Four plus seven, I mean, four plus three is seven. So five of that going back in here will be, yeah, that works. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Okay. Perfect. That works. All right. So 
So let's look and see how much we had left over from our wallet. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27 dollars that will be rolling over. So I'm going to close this for now. Let's go ahead and stuff our 10 into our savings challenge. Every time, if I have any money over left over, if it's at least 10 of it has to go into my emergency savings fund. So let's count how much we have in here. So 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 460. Yep. That's literally $40 away from freaking 500 and being at the halfway point of my emergency fund. That to me is amazing. And I didn't think it would happen. thinking I want I really want some uh, a five binder for something that I have planned and I can't find any on Amazon that I like and I'm like I'm pretty sure these are a five binders part of me is like can I just get like stickers and just like cover up like the front cover of it and I'll switch out the envelopes I like I bought some A5 envelopes and just like pull these envelopes out and just like stickers to cover up the worries and reuse it. Do you guys think like that will work? I, I feel like maybe, but I don't know. And like, if so, like what type of stickers should I get to cover that up? Like will any old sticker work or do I need like vinyl stickers or something? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I will really prefer not to have to go buy new a new binder if I can just reuse one of these. It will probably be this black one or I don't know, maybe we'll see. Because I do want to attempt the 100 envelope challenge again next year and actually do the 100 envelope challenge. And But if I do do it, it's definitely going to be one of those very long term ones that will probably not be finished within like the year or so just because I'm not going to like rush myself and force myself to go into a hole just trying to get that done all right so guys i realized that this video is already entirely too long it's about to be 45 minutes long so i'm gonna split this video into two parts and it is christmas day so i want to wish you guys a very merry christmas i hope you have a wonderful holiday and you're able to spend it with your family and to share my love from my family to you I'm going to insert a picture of my beautiful little girl screaming her head off when we went to see um, Santa. So, once again, have a happy holiday, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join me on this financial journey. Bye, guys. Let me say bye-bye. No? Okay.